You don't need a fancy degree or years of experience to program a game. All you need is a lot of practice and knowing where to start. My name's Hunter and I'm the lead programmer on Suck It Up and I've been exactly where you are right now. Two years ago I had never even touched a game engine and now I have a degree in game development and I've been a game programmer on tons of projects. First things first, this is not a how to program video, this is a how to get started programming video. So what exactly does that mean? I'm going to be giving you a bunch of resources and plans in order to get your first game out there. If you've never made a game before, it's likely that you've heard of a game engine. A game engine is basically where everything comes together into one final product, where all of your code and art and ideas come together in one place. This is where you will spend 99% of your time, either in the game engine or in a code compiler. But now that brings up the question of what game engine should I start in? If you're wanting to become a game developer, I think that there's really three main options. Even though there's a few more out there, I'm going to just talk about the main three, those being Unity, Unreal Engine, and Godot. There's a lot of other game engines out there that are really good for certain things like Game Maker or RPG Maker, but in general, you'll want to look into these three. There's a lot of consideration when it comes to game development on which game engine to use, and a lot of misconceptions that this game engine's way better for this than this game engine. But generally, you're able to do most things that Unity can do in Unreal and vice versa. And though there are some advantages, it's not going to make or break anything too badly with where you're at, just starting out. Instead of getting caught up in which game engine should you use and spending hours trying to figure that out, I'd rather you guys just go ahead and get a little game project completed, so I'm going to save you the trouble and tell you to start out with Unity. And this is coming from Unreal Engine fanboy right here. I'm saying to start off in Unity, and the main reason why is Unity is really great for 2D, and it has really great support. I'm not talking necessarily by developers, but by the community. Unity has been one of the biggest game engines for such a long time, and has really just dominated the game industry for so long that there is just so many resources, especially on how to get started. Along with that, I really recommend starting off in 2D versus 3D because there's just a lot less to worry about when you're in 2D space versus 3D space, especially for your first few projects. So let's go ahead and talk about this first project that you need to do. I want you to create a super simple game. I'm talking the most simple games you can possibly think of. Some examples that I like to give people are the Google Dinosaur game or Pong. What I recommend doing is looking up a tutorial, how to make a Google Dinosaur game in Unity, I know there's a bunch out there, and follow it all the way through and really try and understand everything you're doing. If you're using Unity, you are going to be programming in C Sharp. If you have any Java experience or similar object-oriented languages, it should come pretty simple. Otherwise, just take your time through this video, try and understand what all the code is doing. I don't recommend going out and looking up a how to program in C Sharp tutorial. I don't think that's the best way to learn, especially for game development, because it's so different than traditional software development. So starting off by just learning how to write those lines of code, kind of banging your head against the wall, figuring out why it's not working, and then figuring out those problems and solving them, that is the fastest way you're going to learn. But once you have completed this tutorial, followed it step by step, and gotten your project working, the next thing I want you to do is try and add something or change something about the game to make it unique. The reason being is this is going to be your first sort of problem that you have to solve all on your own. So use all of the knowledge that you've gained throughout making the game to maybe add a different type of obstacle or maybe add a power up that increases your jump height, something like that. Just a little tiny change. Once you're done with that, if you want to add some more changes, maybe try and add like a start menu or something, that's great. But the main thing is getting that first project done, and you should be so proud of yourself once it's done. Now that you've completed your very first game, I want you to go out and find a game of the exact same complexity level. So if you just made the Google Dinosaur game, try making Pong or vice versa. But this time, I want you to try and make it without a tutorial. Realistically speaking, you probably won't be able to do that, but I want you to go in trying to code every single thing line by line, getting stuck, and only once you can't figure it out should you look at a tutorial. Now that tutorial's purpose is not to guide you through step by step on how to make it, that tutorial's purpose is to get you unstuck. And the reason I don't want you to just watch through the whole tutorial is I've seen so many people become over-reliant on tutorials and they basically can't create anything without using a tutorial first. This is bad because they're basically just copying and pasting what this person on the internet's telling them to do even though they're not understanding it. So use that tutorial to get unstuck and then keep on working after that. As soon as you're to the point where you're only using tutorials to get unstuck, your speed of development is going to really get a lot faster and you're going to get a lot better at problem solving, which problem solving is like 99% of game development. And then once you have that project completed, boom, you have a project that was made by you. You're not following a tutorial. You've made your very first game all by yourself. And I 
say all by yourself, even though you were referencing a tutorial, people reference tutorials all the time. I reference them all the time to get myself unstuck. Using online resources as a tool is super important, so don't underestimate what online can teach you, but don't become over-reliant on it. Once you have the gameplay working for this, I want to talk about my third big tip for you guys, and one that honestly, I have not done the best job with, and that is taking your projects all the way. What I mean by taking things all the way is literally having a project that you can send off to anyone and they're able to play it no problems. Along with that, learning how to create things like start menus, setting menus, being able to take your game from full screen to windowed, adding controller support, those are things I mean when I say take it all the way. Don't just get the gameplay done, get the game done. I've done an awful job at this in the past on my projects and I'm really paying for it now because Suck It Up is becoming a much larger project and I just went back in to add controller support for UI for the very first time and I was having a nightmare because I set up all these UI systems previously and I pretty much had to redo them from the ground up because I didn't know what I needed to do to make them work with controller. But by making this a habit on your smaller projects, it's going to be a lot more of a linear learning process rather than you just having to figure out everything on the fly the first time you try and do a larger project. And if you guys ever need any help with game development, go ahead and join the Discord in the description. That is our Suck It Up community Discord, but we are also turning it into a game developers Discord for all of you game developers out there. So if you love game development and you want to show us developers what you've been working on, check out that Discord. And also be sure to wishlist Suck It Up on Steam. Anywho, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!